His apartment is a long way from Sierra Leone, but even the great distance can't shield his heart from the pain. She was very close to me. She always referred to me as brother in our tradition. Sila Cargbo lost his cousin to Ebola just last week. She was one of the brave ones, a nurse who put her life on the line helping infected patients, sadly becoming one herself. She's a hero. All people who have lost their lives in Sierra Leone, in the process of helping save lives, we consider them heroes. Cargbo is now living in constant fear, dreading the ringing of the phone, always wondering who will be next. But he's not alone. Friend in Calgary, he lost um, uh, three relatives. So it's, it's, it is very hard to find a Sierra Leone family who has not been affected. And the number of people becoming infected in Sierra Leone is growing by the hundreds every week. In human history, this will go down as our gargantuan disaster. So we must gear up and engage in this conflict. Aid organizations like Canmore's Cause Canada is scrambling to find funding, partnering with two other charities to build the only isolation centre in northern Sierra Leone. To date, all of their funding has come from private donors. The founder says our government isn't doing enough. Canada, quite frankly, could do more. Now, if you as a Canadian look at some of the expenditures the government of Canada is making on various things and compare that to what we're making on Ebola, it's discouraging. The federal government has pledged $65 million to fighting Ebola overseas and another $28 million here at home. But it's not clear exactly how much has been paid out. The UN website shows just $1 million in support as of Tuesday. And no recent promises have been made to send medical personnel exactly what is needed most, according to Cargbo. But what we need in Sierra Leone right away is manpower. The country is very short of manpower. Cargbo is also asking for prayers. We are asking Canada and everybody else in the world not to turn their back at us. We need everybody right now. Jamie Dahl, Global News.